So just a note on Hillary. Um, I asked Tim McCrary, I thought he was a very smart guy, if he wanted to have a baby. And he said, okay. So we did. But anyway, let's go forward to her um, high school years. Well, she had the pony beauty, and she did really well with it. But she's a little timid. I'm a little bit very careful. She doesn't know how to ride a bike until age 11. She was riding a pony but, and jumping before she rides a bike. It's really funny. But then she runs off to California with her Wick, Wickham new boyfriend the, pretty much the day she graduated from high school. Um, I didn't see that coming. And uh, they went out there for a couple years. And I flew out. My dad sent me out. And I said, you guys do not need a baby. But they did. They had, she wanted a baby, and she's 20. So she's working. She's living with this guy, and they get pregnant and have a baby. Home birth out in California. She uh, eventually, they decide to move back to the East Coast, and she decided to have another baby. And she hadn't been to school, but they, they separated, and then she decided to go to college. She had some help, but... Uh, I had taken her to VCU, and I said, just go stay in the dorm, have fun. She didn't want to do it. But the newest development is this. Well, she's married to this guy named Matt, and he, I think, really adores her. But so she decided to get a house in the country, and she got chicken eggs, and she hatched them. She had two incubators, one for duck eggs, one for different brands of chickens. And uh, one day she came home, and Matt was hovering over the ducks after they... Well, actually, th those eggs didn't do well, so they went and got live ducks. Uh, something was wrong with the thermometer. But so now she's out at her new farm. She's got two dogs. She wants a third. And she has all these seedlings, probably 200 of all different kinds of plants that she sprouted at the, her house that she's renting in Oregon Hill. I've never, ever seen this in my life with anybody uh, so much zest for life and taking hold of it and doing it as best she can. And she's a lot of stuff, and she's got kids. And um, I'm more minimal as I got older because the most important thing to me is the relationship. It's not carrying stuff around, but, you know, she'll get there. And then <laughs> she's been wanting a pig, and her husband's so funny. He goes, go get that pig. And he's just so cute. Um, it's going to be an unusual sequence of events with her. Oh, yeah, and she's going to graduate school. She, she got scholarships and went to George Washington and what she loves, which was geology. I don't understand it, but she does, and she loves it. And she wants to get her graduate degree, and she's going to have another baby. She's planning another baby with this new husband. They want to have one, and she wants to do a little travel and partying in, in uh, New Orleans, I want a trip in November to New Orleans, but then after that, she says, if I'm in, if I'm in New Orleans, I probably want to drink some. So, um, and then she's going to have another baby. Children can be mesmerizing, you know, and she's making good choices for her, and she's even begun to come to terms with my mental illness that I've struggled with, um, which my sister obviously is not a good role model, or my dad. So you would think, but no, they're they're dealing too much with their own issues to be able to you know, kind of adjust their world to include someone who's suffering from bipolar. I wish it was different, but just as I have to go with it, go with my school, go with my art. You know, I want to give back to my community. And from what I've seen and what I've studied throughout history and, and knowing technology the way it is and how people care and love each other, for the most part, um, we want good relationships between ethnicities. That's called fractionalization. And the beauty of that is that the differences make us beautiful. Um, so we, but we have to have a global sense of propriety, too, in taking care of our children, but also taking care of our neighbors.